Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for checking this video out. If you guys are new here, I am Jamie. I'm 31 years old. I live in Ohio. I am married to my high school sweetheart, Mike. We have been together for 16 years, married for eight. We have a two-year-old daughter, Avery, and we have been trying for baby number two for about a year now. We do struggle with infertility, but we have faith that it will happen for us hopefully in 2018. I work full time and I am just here sharing my life with you guys, sharing how I attempt, that's the key word, attempt to juggle it all. I love to work out, eating healthy is super important to me, but I am obsessed and I, I love, love, love a clean house and an organized house. So trying to be a great wife, a good mom, work full time and keep everything together I'm just attempting to do that and share it with you guys. So I would love to have you subscribe and yeah. So it is the most wonderful time of the year. It's so pretty. I love Christmas as, as much as the next person, but it's kind of a twofold for me. I love the decor, the lights. I think the lights are my favorite, but I also love the smells of the holidays, the smells of Christmas. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know, that a good smelling house is super important to me. I actually made a video um, a while ago, which I will link up here, that talks about how I get my house smelling good or how I try and attempt to keep it smelling good. So smelling, a good smelling home is so important to me, but especially around the holidays, I just love that homey, cozy feel of the holidays. And that to me starts with how everything smells. So I thought I would share with you guys today how I get my house smelling like Christmas, like the holidays, um, and not just your traditional ways. We all know that, you know, we could go light a candle. Well, I'm not going to show you that because you guys already know that. So these are kind of the more non-traditional ways that I get my house smelling good and it just makes me feel good. Not too long ago, I came home from work, I was stressed, it had been a long, busy, crazy day and I lit a pepper peppermint candle and it just immediately, my stress level went down. I just, that smell, it just smelled like Christmas and it just made me happy. So um, I hope some of these tips will help you guys and maybe you can incorporate them into your house over this next month. So this first one is one that you probably have heard about. There's a lot of stovetop potpourri recipes out there. I decided to change it up and make it a little bit easier. I am using a slow cooker, a crock pot, and I like this idea because if it's a Saturday or Sunday and I'm spending time around our house or if it's on Christmas, I don't want to have to worry about something boiling hot on the stove. So I just threw, there's only about five ingredients, very simple, in my slow cooker. I have the recipe um, that I got it from in the description box below, but this smells so good, and because it's in the slow cooker, you don't have to worry about it. Next one is some scented decor. And I love using pine cones to decorate in the fall and the winter time. So with this one, if you don't buy your pine cones, if you get them from outside, you will have to wash them pretty good and then put them in the oven at 200 degrees for about an hour or so to get all the sap off. I didn't have to do that because I did buy mine from Michael's, but I just showed that to you guys in the steps so you didn't forget. But you just, after you bake them, throw them in a Ziploc bag, put some drops of your favorite essential oil in the bag and then you want to let them sit for about a week. I know that sounds crazy, but that way the pine coats can soak up all of the essential oils and then you have a some pretty decor, but it also smells really good. And I also have where I got this idea and how I did it in the description box below. I feel like I'm always cleaning, so I might as well make my cleaning supplies smell good. And I love these ones from Mrs. Myers, the Iowa Pine Scent and Peppermint Uzis, and it just makes my house smell clean and like Christmas. I 
I was a little hesitant and didn't know how much this one would work, but it really, really did a really good job of making my bathroom smell good. I took some drops of my peppermint essential oil in the middle of the toilet paper roll, and every time someone pulled off some toilet paper, it made the bathroom smell so good. So this will be perfect for the holidays when we have a lot of people over. This is one I have shown before here on my channel, but it's a carpet refresher and you just take some drops of essential oils, put it in some baking soda, and then you can sprinkle it all over your carpet, let it sit, soak up the smells, and then you can vacuum it up. You do have to be careful if you have pets because essential oils can be toxic to them. So I did not add any essential oils this time. I just used plain old baking soda, which can do a really good job. But if you don't have any pets, definitely add some essential oils to it. This is just a basic air freshener spray. I just took distilled water, witch hazel, which helps emulsify the essential oils into the water, and then some drops of my favorite essential oil. And then you can spray it all around your house before people come over and it makes it smell so good. I will have the exact recipe and other recipes for room sprays in the description box below. This one was probably my favorite one to do because we got to do a craft as a family and it made my house smell good. So I got these wood round tags from Michaels and we just did a thumbprint reindeer and added some essential oils to the wood tags, put them on the tree and it was cute and smelled good. enjoyed this video I hope you will take some of these good smelling ideas that I gave to you and apply them in your home this December thank you guys as always so 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 much for watching think about hitting the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this type of video and I will see you guys next time bye